it's Cassie. It's Richie. So following up on our vintage lookbook, today we're gonna be doing a thrift haul. Since the majority of the clothing items that we wore in that lookbook were thrifted. So recently you've been getting into the loop of thrifting again and Value Village just recently had a 50% off sale. Yeah. And so we were just like, we have to go. We have a bunch of stuff to show you guys. It's really funny because like Richie gets notifications on her phone whenever they I'm have. A member. Yeah. <laughs> she has a membership and yeah, thrifting is awesome. Like honestly, I really want to do like a thrifting like tips video for you guys. Yeah. So maybe in the springtime we can do that, gather a bunch of friends mm -hmm. and like thrift. But for now, we have a bunch of stuff to show you guys. Kind of went a little overboard because I did not expect to buy anything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they just kept on giving me clothes. Like, do you like this? Do you like this? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, you want to get started? Oh my god. See? You got a lot. So the first thing I found was this cream t-shirt. So I've been really into the cream beige, whatever. I got this one and it's the brand Giordano. I believe it's, I don't know, I've seen it in the Philippines a lot. Really? Yeah. My oh. mom would always buy these shirts from Giordano. I don't know, I actually really liked it because it was really simple. I liked how it had the little like logo thing and I actually have one too. I found this one behind the one <laughs> that Richie found and it's really nice. It was $2.99 less 50% off, so it's $1.50. Oh, how much was this? I don't know. It's the same, obviously. Sometimes they price stuff differently. Really? It's yeah. like the same shirt, pretty much. Just different colors. So yeah, so this is a really like... We're obviously trying to go for the earthy tones instead of just black and white, you know? So. And we also have something else that's pretty similar, which are these turtlenecks. It fits really it nice. It does. Yeah. And I was like looking at myself and like tucking my hair in, and it just looks really good when your hair is like tucked in. Tucked in. But yeah, so this was. Richie removed the price tags of like all the stuff she got, so I, whatever, I kept it, okay? Yeah. Um, and this is actually a women's extra large, but it fits really well. And uh, it was $7.99, so $3.50. Yeah. It's really good quality too. Honestly though, like whenever you go thrifting, like sometimes I don't have like any expectation and you just find the coolest like yeah. staples. You find it or I find it for you. <laughs> okay, let me tell you this. Cassie is like so lazy. She just like just looks and I'm like Cassie you actually have to look inside like you have to move the clothes instead of just <laughs> looking at the clothes <laughs> this is like it, it's been a consistent thing like Richie always just like finds stuff I won't like stay in one section at once I'll just like go around the store just like briefly like looking yeah. through Richie will actually like dig in and like look at every single one yeah but um I actually found stuff for myself <laughs> Actually, Wait. maybe not. <laughs> Did you not? I don't know. We'll That's see. so funny. We'll see. I don't even remember what we got. Speaking of sweaters, Claire actually found this for herself, but she didn't want it. So um, she gave it to me, but it's this cream sweater. It's really soft. Made in Italy. But I was sad to find out that there was holes on it. You have to check your clothes <laughs> so you don't get disappointed in the end, but it's okay. It's fine. I it's can hide really it, you know? Deal. But yeah, I really like the color. Okay, you're right. Yeah, everyone finds things for me. Um, my <laughs> friend Connor, we thrifted with a bunch of um, our friends and yeah, so he found this like really interesting coat for me. He wanted it for himself, but it was too big, so he just gave it to me. Really like weird material. We we're just like, is it made out of koala or something? Yeah, like, honestly. <laughs> I don't know, it's really weird. And it's like really baggy and minimal. I don't know, I, there's something the about it. The shape of it is really like monochromatic, I feel. Yeah, like, I really material. liked it, but I was just like, why not? It's cheap, but I honestly don't like having a lot of clothes. Like there's so many clothes <laughs> that I need to get rid of. So we might be doing another pop-up shop or maybe a Depop. We might have a Depop account to sell like the clothes that we don't wear. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, moving on. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, check out my foot. <laughs> I got two high-waisted jeans. Um, I always, always look in the men's section because they have the best high-waisted jeans and um, they actually fit very well. If you're tall like us, I'd go for the men's section, but if you're more petite, then I'd go for the boys' yeah, section. Obviously. Or women's, honestly. Like, But for us, like at our height and our hips, whatever, it just works. It works, yeah. So I section. got these black, de oh yeah. I so can show a, a similar <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, she got some too. Yeah. I found these for myself. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I have this one, 
And what I like about both of these is that it's acid wash. Hers is a little bit lighter, but yeah, yeah this is, I think this is like a Costco Kirkland. brand. <laughs> Kirkland. It's like Kirkland. And then what's yours? Lee. Lee jeans. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. But they fit really well and it's high waisted. Perfect wash. I love um, it at the bottom. They're also good like if you want to make high-waisted shorts you can just like chop off the legs mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna. I like it like that. I remember before we'd always used to chop the legs to make shorts but now yeah. So <laughs> but, <laughs> still gonna do it. <laughs> and I got these pair of like their dark wash denim jeans and I don't know the brand Denver Haze whatever mm -hmm. and they were a little too long so I had to like I like it when it's like you will have to wear it like that. Yeah but, no it's it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, this, I don't know how much it was, to be honest. Yours feels like it was washed already. I didn't wash it online. Them, yeah. Didn't take the tags off. But I will, <laughs> I will. The next thing I got was this bomber jacket oh, yeah, that I found her for. <laughs> and she's gonna give it to my friend Claire, but then Claire didn't like it. So I was like, okay, I'll have it. Because <laughs> I liked how it had like the wing like the bagginess going on. Claire it's didn't like, really like it that much, but yeah, it's like really like lightweight and airy mm -hmm. and um, yeah, you can wear it with anything. Yeah, you could just. And then speaking of bombers, okay, I got two bombers. I actually found this one for my brother, which um, it's a suede material. And it's funny because I bought him one that was green, which is the exact same um, brand. So it's the perfect fit and yeah. Do you have another bomber? Yeah, I do actually. I just forgot about it. Um, I got a beige bomber. Did Kyle buy this one? Yeah, Kyle did. Yeah, and it's actually the same brand um, of the t-shirts that we found. And this was six ninety nine, so it was that is two so cheap. Three fifty. Shoot, I did the math wrong with the sun. You can tell it's breathable because of like the holes or. Whatever these things cool. are, but it's really cool. I like the color, and yeah. So these are the two bombers that I got. This one is the bomber with the one. I know there's a specific name. I know what is it? Like I know it's really famous. They sell it for. It's really old. I'm pretty sure this is worth like a hundred dollars. So definitely a steal. Yeah. Um, but you can tell it's legit because they have the YKK zippers. Um, but yeah, it's reversible, right? Yeah. But obviously, I'm gonna wear it. But um, it's probably the warmest jacket I have, so it's really good for the winter. My next find was actually featured in the clothing portion of the haul we did recently. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't really talk about it in much detail. It's just this really nice camel coat. It's really thick too. I didn't get it on the 50% off day, but honestly I think it was worth it because it's such good material. It's super heavy and it's super warm, so it's perfect for the winter, even though right now it's like sunny out and it's <laughs> not too cold. But I really love the color. Um, and this actually has like a tie at the back, so it's really nice. And it was a little pricey though, I'm not gonna lie, it was $30, but Okay, so the I'm last thing really hot, sorry. The last thing I got is this really um, cool sweater, I think, because of this. The buttons here, it's a little different, and this was from the guy section. So don't be afraid to look in the guy section because you will find a lot of things that you might like. And the last thing I got was probably my favorite find, just because I it's really long. And it's this London Fog, which is actually a really great brand, um, coat. And it still has the shoulder pads because I've yet to take them off, but it's super oh, long. My lipstick. <laughs> oh my yes. lipstick! Oh shoot, is it on it? <gasps> you can take it off. Great. <laughs> I'm gonna move it away from you. <laughs> it's okay. I'll wash it. I didn't wash it yet. Anyways, yeah, what I really like about it is that it's super simple. It has to tie on the back as well, but it's really long. Like, I'm pretty sure it goes. It's down as to my ankles. You, honestly. Yeah, and I'm like five, eight and a half. Yeah. So it's just like perfect little trench coat. I actually found another one, but same she brand. She was too. wearing it the whole time. Because I was she like, decide. I couldn't decide because like I I don't know like if I wanted it or not because it was kind of big. But this was a size small, and it, I don't know size small. It's a size small, and it's like my it's height. Really That's big. really. I guess it's really for tall girls. Fourteen ninety nine, so seven fifty. Yeah. And that is it for Wait. our thrift. Can I just plug this in? Plug it. 
Okay, so oh, this right. one, I actually didn't find this one for myself. It was like a Christmas gift, but it was thrifted. So like it's this really old school Pentax camera. Um, which I'm really excited to use because it is like manual and you have to like actually put your film or I'm planning on doing like a documentary book yeah right but wow yeah I want to like take pictures of moments you know but yeah speaking of moments you can actually now follow us on Facebook because I know a lot of you guys have been like trying to add us on Facebook and unfortunately we can't um, add every single one of you guys but there is an option that if you press add then you're technically following us. So what I've been doing is I made a Facebook album for 2016 so I'm just gonna post like a bunch of pictures because I wanted to document it. It's public so if you guys do want to see it, I don't know, like just if you want. Mm -hmm. You can also add her. Some things will be public, some things will be private. I don't know. And also follow us on Instagram. Mine is Richie Pemin21. Cassie Massenkai and we at We Are To The, the Nines. And hashtag We Are To The Nines. We're actually at like 15k with the features. Yeah, yeah. you guys have been like hashtagging We Are To The Nines like crazy. And I just want to be able to feature like so many of you guys on our page. Yeah. I literally like post like two times in a row because yeah. like <laughs> there's just so many pictures you want to post and sometimes you forget to and then you know um but yeah follow that and also um an announcement so we were asked to be featured on the january issue of the local wolves magazine and we are so honored because i mean sj is dude sj is just perfect yeah. like this is just she looks like a wolf. She <laughs> even like, I, Richie said it actually, and then um, she actually Instagrammed like, might as well look like a wolf for Local Wolves magazine. But, so funny. Yeah, and our favorites are on here, um, Amy Vagabond, and like a bunch of other really talented mm -hmm. people. And if you look, we're on page 30. Yeah. Order your copies, guys. But if you don't want to order it, you can just read it online, and I'll put the link down below. Yeah. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some inspiration from the things we got and I hope this video inspired you guys to go thrifting. Honestly, it's the best thing ever. Yeah, you save a lot of money, it's good for the environment, just mm -hmm. I'm so happy that we've gotten into the loop of thrifting again because I really missed it. We kind of had a period where we were like, we didn't shop really thrifting. But thrifting is actually fun, uh, especially you go with people that like mm -hmm. to find you other stuff <laughs> <laughs> because I'm busy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye. Value Village ah, contacted <laughs> us and you want to do video. No. He just presses it. Can you put it on? Oh my gosh, it's so true. <laughs> Take it out. Fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> John's calling me. Hello? Yo, yo. So, we're going to a dance show today. And okay. my friend's directing it. And he's okay, sure. Food. Okay, That's you like why he's calling. calling or something? Is that okay? Okay. Turn off music! And also, we also. <laughs> also, we also. But, anyways, it is. Italy. Italy. But I was sad to. Dana.